Tonight, church leaders who have been defying the stay-at-home order are taking a small victory lap after the president says places of worship are an essential business. Our Jermon Terry is live at one church find last week that plans to hold services again this week. Jermon. Yes, Brad, the senior pastor here at this church tells me that he will hold two services on Sunday, that he believes that the president's support only proves his point. Tonight, the doors at Metro Praise International are locked, but expect them to swing open once again Sunday morning. The Belmont Cragen Church is one of three in Chicago to receive a $500 fine for violating social distancing by having services. We should be able to have as many people as we can safely social distance. But under the governor's orders, only 10 can still gather at one church. Close to 60 will worship here on Sunday at two services. I don't think the science backs up that we're putting them at any greater of a risk than them going to the other essential businesses. Pastor Joe Wyrostek's views gained momentum following President Trump's statements on Friday. Some governors have deemed liquor stores and abortion clinics as essential, but have left out churches and other houses of worship. It's not right. So I'm correcting this injustice and calling houses of worship essential. We are not going to rush to do something so he can fulfill a campaign promise um, that sets people's lives at risk. He said so many dangerous and foolish things. Add this to the list. For now, Metro Praise moves forward, ready to face another fine, but this time with the executive branch backing. We're following our president. We're following the CDC. We're doing exactly what they said. If that's not good enough for the mayor and governor, they need to be ready for that fight. And the senior pastor says that they will maintain social distance. You can see that they have the X's here on the sidewalk so that when the parishioners come to the various services, they will attempt to maintain social distance. As for the second church that was also fined last week, we're hearing that they will hold services as well. And we'll just have to wait and see if they get fined again. Reporting live I'm tonight, I'm Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Jermont, thank you. We will wait and see.